and today I'm going to show you how to make a tree skirt. I am in desperate need of one. I don't think I've ever owned one before, so I figure it's about time. So the first thing you're going to need to get out is your sewing machine and some corresponding thread to the fabric that you want to use. So then of course you'll need some fabric. Here's a little sample of the fabric that I'm going to be using. It's this nice furry, soft, cozy stuff that I thought I would would look really nice underneath the tree and then the back has just got like a silky I don't know what it is but anyways I wish I knew what this fabric was called I found it at the craft store in the faux fur section so I just really liked it and it was white and it was perfect for my house so the next thing you'll need is a measuring tape you'll also need some sewing pins and then you'll need a pencil or some sort of chalk pencil, something like that. I just use a regular old pencil because that's what I have. Next, you'll need a pair of scissors. And finally, you'll need some sort of ruler. I am using my quilter's ruler, which I basically use for every project. So that is all that you're going to need. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to place your fabric down on the floor, wrong side up. So we have the back side of the fabric facing up for us to m make marks on. And I have placed this clock that I have. It's a big circle. It's 30 inches wide. And I'm using this kind of as a template. But you wouldn't necessarily need to do that. You just need to find a middle. Mark a middle. So I'm just kind of using the middle of this circle as my starting point. And then I'll measure from this circle to the edge of the fabric. And I'll show you how to do that, do that with a measuring tape. Okay, so in order to add the extra width that I want, I am simply going to sort of eyeball it. And how I have done that is this. I put my measuring tape sort of right in the middle, like so. And then I follow it down to the 27 inch mark. And then I use a pencil and I mark on either side of the mark, which gives me a little line. Then I'll move it, making sure that the middle is where I want it again. Follow it back, make a mark, and continue to do that. And you can see, sorry, I have done that all the way around. So now all I need to do is take my scissors and just kind of eyeball and cut all the way around. Pretty easy, got a nice little circle going on. So I'm going to continue this all the way around and I'll show you what it looks like. Now that we're done cutting out the circle shape, now we need to make a side cut all the way to the center and then make the circle in the middle that goes around the tree. And I'll show you how to do that next. Oh, Shelby Girl has decided to come get in my business. Hmm, this might be a problem. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is mark the center of the fabric. To do that, we're going to lay our measuring tape at the 27 inch mark on the edge of our fabric that we cut. And then we're going to take our pencil, move down the middle, and we're going to find the middle. Always measure twice. I measured it once and I messed up. So the real mark is right here. And then double, and then flip the, make sure that you flip the measuring tape to the other side and measure from the middle to the other side or to the other edge so that you are you know even so that gives us our middle spot now okay so then the next step is to take your fabric and fold it in half making sure that all the edges line up all the way around this gives us our center line where we will cut to mark that take yourself a pin like so and mark the spot, mark this edge right here, which I have already done. As you can see, there's my middle mark. I'm going to take this, which is just a Bath and Body Works candle holder or candle lid, and I'm going to put, try to center it as best I can over this mark and then draw and then trace it. And that will be my circle that goes around the tree. Um, just because 
I don't know. I'm not very good at drawing circles. So I'm just going to eyeball it. Basically, I feel like this is the middle. And I'm just going to go like that. I don't think it needs to be perfect. If you want to be perfect, bring out your measuring tape and measure from this side to the edge. And then from this edge down to the edge. But I'm not going to do that because I don't think it's necessary. So I'm going to trace this with my pencil. And then, and there you go, I have a circle. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do before I do any more cutting, I have my circle in my middle, and I have the starting point here. So what I'm going to do is take my quilting ruler, and I'm just going to kind of set it kind of where I think it's in the middle. It's lined up here, and I feel like it's lined up sort of in the middle here. So now I'll just kind of draw a line down this area, so I have a cutting guide. Alright, so now I have my circle in the middle. Got my cutting line down to the edge of the fabric. So now all I need to do is grab my scissors and start cutting all the way up and around the circle. So the center is cut out and the line is cut out. So now I've got what looks like a tree skirt. Now I know that my middle circle is not very big, but I have a fake tree and it's like, you know, this big. So this will be just fine. So next comes the fun part. We're going to take it over to the sewing machine. All right. So I have moved over to the sewing machine. The first thing I want to do is make sure that my machine is set on a zigzag stitch because I'm simply going to run around the outside edges of my tree skirt with a zigzag stitch. I figured that's just the easiest. Now, of course, if you don't have a furry fabric like this, you may want to turn it on the fabric under and make a nice seam. But with this, I really don't think it's necessary. So basically, I'm going to kind of scooch the fur back away from my edge. And then I'm going to place it underneath the sewing foot like this. I want to go right on the edge. So now that I have it underneath the pressure foot, I'm going to scooch the fabric over. Then I'm just going to run a zigzag stitch all the way around. And as you're going, you're going to want to keep moving the fabric back away from the edge. Okay, so then when you're done, you have a nice zigzag line. And then what you do is you just kind of floof the sides and it covers up that edge. So here, let's, let me see from the other side. There you go. So you've got a nice little edge and it's all nice and furry. So basically that's it. It's super simple. Now I am noticing that I am kind of getting a ripply effect, but that's pretty common because this is such a thin backing. And I think once it's laying on the ground, it's not really going to matter. So if you're worried about that, you may want to put some sort of um, liner on the back just to give it a little more structure, but I'm not going to worry about that at all. So I'm going to continue to zigzag stitch all the way around. Okay, so my tree skirt is completed and I'm going to tell you right now, it makes a mess, this furry stuff just makes a mess of everything. My sewing machine is covered in it. I'm covered in it. So what I'm going to do is um, just throw it in the dryer. Well, first I'm going to take it outside and give it a good shake, get all the loose stuff off. Then I'm going to put it in the dryer and sort of fluff it up a little bit. Here is the finished tree skirt. It's looking pretty good. As you can tell, 
The edging is nice until you can't even see the seam. So that's cool. And then here's the back side. It looks a little something like that. See, it's still pretty waffly. But I think that just adds another little texture when it's laying flat. So I think it looks pretty good. Alright, so here is the middle. And a lot of true skirts you see will have like the little ribbon that you can tie the skirt together along the edges and you could totally do that just grab some ribbon and um, sew it on with your sewing machine real quick and easy um, but I'm not going to bother with it because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it it's all about speed this year <laughs> um, I'm just going to lay it under around the tree and then just overlap the sides sort of like that and I think that'll be just fine no worries all right so that's the finished product project and I will show you what it looks like underneath the tree next all right so I have finished my tree skirt and this is what it looks like I think it turned out pretty good and the edges you can't even see the seam that we zigzagged because the fur kind of fluffs up over it so there you go there's the finished product